Hello, I'm Walter from Wandering Wanda. Ariel asked me to basically rant about Thousand Trails. So I will just basically give you the intro. Ariel has fond memories of Thousand Trails from his childhood. In his childhood, it was a luxury park, and he enjoyed the stays there with his family. We inherited the Thousand Trails membership that his parents bought, and we paid the annual dues each year since his father passed away several years ago. And so on this trip, he booked five stays at Thousand Trails, and uh, as members who paid their annual dues, there's no basic cost for us to stay at Thousand Trails. So he was looking forward to finally using the Thousand Trails membership that he inherited from his father and having the opportunity to relive fantastic childhood memories of a first-class park that was everything he could ever imagine. Well, it didn't work out that way. I'll tell you that in the ideal RV park where you got everything you wanted, you'd have 50 amp electric, You'd have sewer, water, cable, good internet, the space would be clean. Uh, you'd have a flat surface, maybe even paved. Uh, you'd have some shade and some space in between you and the next camper. Those are pretty much the things that I think you'd want in an ideal camping space or RV space. Kind of like a hotel room in Europe back in the 90s when we first traveled together to Europe on a budget and we got a hotel room. An ideal room had a toilet and a shower and TV and you even got breakfast with it. We hardly ever got all of those things in a hotel room. On the whole entire trip, three weeks in Europe back in 1990, we had one room that actually had all of that stuff in it. We fondly remember that wonderful room in Stockholm, Sweden. We will never forget the joy of having a shower in our room. Back to the RV park story. A thousand trails, you get a space. Kind of like in Europe, you get a room. You can probably get one or maybe two of the basic amenities you would like. You'll either get 50 amp electric or sewer or water, but the chances of getting all three, they're kind of like our three week trip in Europe. One out of 21 probably. I'd actually even estimate less than that because one out of 21 is pretty close to four and a half percent and 17 spaces out of about 300. Um, I don't think it comes out quite that close. So anyway, we booked the four stays at Thousand Trails. First one was Bay Landing in Bridgeport, Texas. When we pulled in, they told us that they had that morning, unless it had already been taken, one single space in the entire RV park with 50 amps of electricity, sewer, and water. The three basic requirements that we would want for normal camping for us. We don't boondock, as you know. Well, it was gone. The person who came in before us had taken it. So we tried a 30 amp space sewer and water. I don't think that the 30 amp breaker was actually working properly because we couldn't even run one air conditioner on 30 amps. It was 109 degrees outside and it was 99 degrees inside Wanda and it kept blowing our circuit breaker running one single air conditioner. The site was dirty. There were broken plastic toys. It was not level. Uh, we had to move toys out of the way. There was a, a plastic tricycle 
probably from the near full-time residents that were nearby. Uh, they will tell you that they only have five people on annual contracts. Well, they don't tell you how many they have on nine month, six month and three month contracts that take up their spaces. So while they have 17 spaces technically out there, uh, you don't know if 16 of them are taken by people who have three month, six month, nine month and annual contracts. Uh, we ended up leaving and then when we told them we were leaving, Nina, N-I-N-A, at Thousand Trails threatened us with a cancellation charge for not taking the unacceptable accommodations that were available. We told her, assign a space to us and if you dare charge us anything we will dispute the charge because there were no safe accommodations that we could possibly go to. Uh, we made a phone call to a park about 20 miles away and said, do you have a pull through 50 amps sewer and water? She said, yes, you can have space number 34. Just pull into it and I'll come over after you've pulled in and set up and collect from you. We didn't even ask her how much it was. We went there, space 34 was paved, it was flat. We hooked up, we had air and she didn't come by for a while, so I called and she said, oh, I've been a little busy, I'll get to you. Don't worry about it. She came by and for three nights, it was a total of $150, virtually nothing. And uh, mostly had full-time residents in that park, but they were wonderful, all great people. We had a lovely stay there. I don't have any use for Thousand Trails. I would rather pay money and stay at a place where I can have guaranteed accommodations of 50 amps electric sewer and water. We don't boondock and I don't see a reason to go to a park where you get to pick between having one or two of those three basic amenities. And there's no reason at any park for sites to be full of trash, broken toys, uneven, and have non-working electrical. So there's my little rant. We subsequently canceled the other four reservations at Thousand Trails because looking at their internal maps, they also had very few spaces with 50 amps sewer and water, uh, 10 to 15 at each of the subsequent three sites, or so, four sites that we were going to, and I uh, didn't see any reason why we should even try to stay there. It may have been a luxury park in Ariel's mind in his childhood, but like things from our childhood, we glamorize them. Uh, KOA is a much better option. Have a great day. All right, this is probably our first and last day here at Thousand Trails. Well, they had to have part in order to get sewer. And there was no 50 amp. This whole row is 50 amp, however, 80% of them are full timers. It doesn't look like they're going anywhere. So, we have to pull the handicap card. And it's only 30 amp with no 20. And we kept blowing the air conditioner. It's 98 degrees inside the rig. And we can only use one air conditioner. I'm having heat flashes and so is Walter. We're both going to pass out soon. We're in the truck. I've already torn down. I set up. I will and tore down. We cannot stay at a 30 amp when it's 106 degrees. It's just not possible. We need both air conditioners and we need 50 amp. Sorry, Thousand Trails. This is not going to work. We're going to have to cancel the membership. Oh, also. There is garbage, trash. This, the whole campsite is littered. I, I, I don't know what, why they don't clean this. You pay annual dues and to a site that's, that's a trash heap? No. It's like a third world country. I don't know, my parents maybe were used to this, but I'm not.